What a day in crypto, folks. Bitcoin up 10% today after Treasury imposes new sanctions against Russia's central banks. So basically, this was completely unexpected. Everybody expected the war in Russia to tank Bitcoin, which it kind of did at first. But now, because of all these sanctions, Russia is using Bitcoin and Russian people are using Bitcoin because the currency in Russia has pretty much been devalued so much. This has basically just sparked new interest in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And now every cryptocurrency in the top 100 is basically up. Absolutely incredible. This video is about why it's always important to have skin in the game. My past video, I said, you know, I think Bitcoin's going to go down to about $30,000. We dumped down to about $34,000, but I said, now's the time to be buying. You don't have to go all in, but you have to be buying some Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Because just because we think it's going to go down to $30,000 or $20,000 or some people are even saying $10,000, there's no guarantee that's going to happen. And if you don't have skin in the game, you're going to go out and get a cup of coffee and come home and Bitcoin's going to be up four or $5,000 the next time you look at coin market cap. And you're going to be buying in a lot higher. This has been a, hopefully a learning lesson to a lot of people, including myself. I was pretty confident we were going to drop down into the 20s or at least 30,000. But I knew it wasn't 100% which is why I did pick up some coins. I picked up some Metaverse coins. I picked up some more Polymatic. Um, and I picked up a little bit more Cardano at about 80 cents. Now it's back up to almost a dollar. Um, Cardano back up to almost, well, like 90, 96 cents. I think it was like 98 cents a few minutes ago. Um, everything's pretty much pumping right now. Um, a few days ago, I was able to get... Um, Vulcan Forge for like eight fifty. Now it's eleven dollars. Um, that's it, folks. You just gotta you gotta always be in cryptocurrency, especially since Bitcoin and all these cryptocurrencies has have already dumped. Bitcoin's already dumped fifty or sixty percent. A lot of these coins have already dropped 50, 60, 70, 80 percent. Once that happens, you can't be playing around. Yeah, it's okay to sell a little bit, take some profits, do what you gotta do. But once these coins have already dropped, that's the time to start cost averaging in. I still had a lot of money on the side because I thought we were going to dump further, but we didn't. So that money is just going to have to stay on the side. And thankfully, I still have about 65, 70% of my portfolio in crypto. So today is a good day, folks. Um, will this pump continue? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, we'll probably get rejected, you know, pretty soon. But if we get rejected, we might just drop that back down to like $39,000, $40,000. It really depends where we get rejected. Um, if we get rejected at like $45,000, maybe we'll just dump back down to forty two. dollars I can't see this being sus uh, sustainable. I do think we're in a bear market. But bear market or not, it's pretty cool. So my advice is take some profits. If you're up significantly on a lot of these coins, if you held or bought days ago, take a little bit of profits, take a little bit off the table because, you know, this could just be a short-term little pump we're getting right now. But, you know, always take profits and always have some skin in the game because it Bitcoin is unpredictable. I mean, yesterday I was thinking, you know, Putin's talking about nuclear war. I thought the markets were going to completely dump today. Um, I thought the stock market was going to dump, which it did. And I thought crypto, I was like, this is probably where we're going to get that $30,000 Bitcoin. And it did the complete opposite. Bitcoin is unpredictable. That's what's so cool about Bitcoin. When you think it's down and out, it's kind of like, you know, Little Mac and Mike Tyson's punch out. It comes back roaring. So no matter what happens, even if we get rejected and dump back down tomorrow, it's still a wake up call that, hey, Bitcoin is going to do what Bitcoin wants to do. Always take profits, always have money on the side, um, and just kind of hodl. I mean, really, for me, I'm looking 2023, 2024, the next bull market is when I'm going to sell most of my coins, just like I sold most of my coins in 2021. Well, I sold about 60% of my coins, and the 40% I have left, that's kind of what I'm playing with right now. So, you know, very interesting stuff. Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. 
Who knows? We could pump. We could dump. I have no idea at this point. But um, just have money on the side in case we dump. And if we don't dump and we keep going up, take a little bit of profits along the way and just buy those dips, folks, because... Yeah, we are in a bear market, and once that bull market comes around in about a year or two or two years, whenever you're gonna you're gonna want to have some cryptocurrency to uh, to be able to sell, so you can buy yourself a house or buy yourself a car or do whatever you want to do with it. So now's the time to be accumulating. All right, folks.